How's it going YouTube? Chuck Stacks here. It's the weekend again, so I got another fun video. I wanted to talk about a trip I made up to the mountains in North Carolina and got to meet up with two legends in our stacking community. You might be able to figure out who they are. We had a great time. Let me show you all the cool stuff that we got. Alright, first stop we went by the local coin shop up there. And my wife and I are into cool currency, so we found an couple old two dollar bills here 1928 we also got a very cool uh, silver certificate five dollar bill 1934 and to complete my gold back collection starting on the fives the LCS had a great selection of the fives tens 25s 50s had them all so, I thought I'd start with the Utah 5 since I got all the 1s. That worked out great. Also, at the coin shop, I found something really cool. They had just gotten in, and it matches the uh, brand new 2 ounce werewolf that I just got the silver bullet. I thought that's fate. You know, if you got the werewolf, you got to get the silver bullet too, right? And he'd also just gotten in a batch of these great little hand pours. One ounce prospectors, gold, and gems. It's got the fantastic ripples. Love those ripples. Next up, I just picked up a few numismatic items. Uh, you might know I'm on a hunt for precious metals from the Andes Mountains. So I found this old 1933 he had there from Peru. It's not silver, but it's getting me started in the right direction. Dos centavos. And then I got a few other items here. Uh, we got a lucky penny. I think it's 1939. And the token date is 1940 on it. So that one's pretty old. And then just picked up a uh, little Barber Dime, 1898, in fairly good shape. I'd say good to find. And, uh, ooh, yeah, nice Barber Half right there. I like that one a lot. You just can't find these that aren't slicked up, so it's nice to see at least you can read the letters on it. And then, uh, kind of splurged a little bit on this one. But the 1912S, if you look it up in the red book, very low mintage. Got some really nice details on this, I'd say fine, maybe extra fine. Wheat scent. I like that one a lot. We also got to hang out a second day and we did something super fun. We went to their local coin club, had a live auction first Monday of the month. And all great people. Everybody was very friendly and welcoming and left all their politics and religion at the door and said this is just about the coins. And we had a great time. I picked up this one ounce silver round. Generic piece. But anything Liberty is okay in my stack. And I think I paid maybe 25 or 26 bucks. Can't complain with that. Also got this Choice 64 Kennedy 90%. Cartwheeling. Great looking coin there. And this Super Toner 1964 Kennedy. Now, the coin shop owner told us that it's some old flips that use sulfur in them, and that used to dye the coins and make them that weird yellow color. All right, well, thank you all very, very much for taking a few minutes to watch this video. I truly do know how hard it is to keep up with all the videos from all the great channels out there. It's eight minutes here, ten minutes there. Next thing you know, you've put two, three hours into it. The addiction to YouTube is worse than the metals now. So thank you all very much for checking this out. And please comment on any of the cool gear that you see down there. And uh, Chuck Stacks is out. Have a good one.